So most of us have already passed wave 40 and gotten the limited time UGC. Well, that's not good enough. So as you can see over here, bros are in the waves 150. If you're anything like me, you're super competitive and you want to be there too. Mainly because bros getting 5,000 diamonds or gems. That's a lot. And bro, I'm broke in the gems department, so I totally could use this. So today I'm going to show you the best tips and tricks to get to the high rounds and even get on the leaderboards to get those gems for free. All right, let's get in there. And... All right, now that we're here, obviously, you're going to start by turning on auto skip. We're also going to start by placing our green laser cameraman right here. Bro, I already messed up. I was kidding on that last game, obviously. We're going to start by placing the Santa TV man. Duh, of course, we start with the economy, dude. And the biggest tip that I want to give you guys right now is being weary of this auto skip. Eventually, at some point, you're going to want to turn this off or you just, you're not going to get to high rounds. It's going to be impossible. However, now at wave three, we place down our green laser cameraman. And then you just kind of sit back and wait for a second. Hello, Sammy. How are you, Sammy? Did you miss me, Sammy? I noticed you're still struggling with that one boat, Sammy. I'll be back, Sammy. So either way, you should make it to wave six without any problems. Also, all the way up to wave 40, for that matter. However, with this composition today, our goal is to get to at least wave 75. That's it. With my build versus others, the one thing that people notice right away is that I actually rock the Frost DJ as well as the Sinister Titan TV man. Which I know what you're thinking. Oh, but is that stupid? Obviously, the old godly is way better. And I know I, I don't have it. But at least with these tips and tricks, I can show you today that this unit works just fine. Here, let me show you. It's also why I'm showing you right here why the green laser cameraman is so good. Oh, wait, we're waiting for the Sinister. And just like that, we have placed our first Sinister Titan TV man right here. And it's already wave 17. And the green laser cameraman's basically been able to do everything and anything that we need to do so far at this point in time. Our economy units are well on the way to being maxed out. Also, if you didn't already know, the reason why the green laser cameraman is such a good starting unit is the amount it slows down units. Units, it's toilet hopeless. Hopeless, it's toilet. But as you can see, when these units come down, the green laser cameraman kind of like sucks it up and slows it down. For example, big bosses like the mutant toy 2.0 are no threat or factor at all for the mutant as they get slowed down and gets absolutely juiced going down the track. It's way 23 and I have all of my economy units maxed out and I'm doing just fine until all my units get stunned like that. But my next big tip for you guys is to use a speaker repair drone or the camera repair drone if you have it. It's just a solid unit. I actually could have placed it better. I could have placed it right here. Either way, it's a solid unit and it'll just help you out a ton in the long run. Anytime your important units get stunned, for example, our green laser cameraman, you have nothing to worry about. They'll get right back in the fray without any bit of hesitation. Just like a Nancy spooky skeleton whenever I need to hop into battle. You'll never know you'll need me to break a leg. All right, so it's wave 30 and this skeleton's getting a little bit crazy. I've had auto skip on. We're already less than 10 minutes in. We're doing amazing and fantastic things. All we've needed so far, three maxed out green laser cameraman, one sinister Titan TV man on his way to being maxed out. And I haven't even needed to max him out yet. This is why you don't need the god. Go ahead and get that sinister to level five and just watch this dual flying buzzsaw get absolutely blended by the green laser cameraman. Look, it's just getting absolutely zapped up. I see why so many people like it more than the Frost DJ now. I'm sorry, buddy. Y you're still my favorite. Please don't tell the green laser cameraman. I think they would kill me. Literally. And at wave 33, we are gonna get our first Titan TV man maxed out. And just like that, we're gonna be surviving that much longer because the Sinister knows how to party. One of the biggest problems I have noticed with the Sinister though is it's very specific and spotty about where you can place these units down at. For some reason, they have this really big area around them where you can't place other units down close to each other. I think it's because they know how OP my Sinister Man is. So when things start getting a little too hectic, that's when you pop off auto skip just to give your green ca green laser cameraman a bit of a breather. Just a little bit of wiggle room to catch you. That's one of the biggest tips I can tell you. If you keep auto skip on, units are just going to start getting behind you and things are just going to get bad. But now that we are caught up, we can turn auto skip back on just for a second. You don't necessarily need to have auto skip off the entire time because that will slow you down a lot obviously we're trying to make it far but we also don't want to waste our time come on we got important jobs you guys act like i don't work at a graveyard
graveyard. I'm a full-time grave assistant. That's ever a trivia question. There you go. My full-time job is a grave assistant. I can't give you more details about what I do or I will get fired. And the glitch toilet, the boss toilet goes down just like that. Broski has nothing on me. I think your best reference of time to turn off auto skip are when units, not ah, units, toilets, when toilets. God dang it, you stupid skeleton. Get it through your thick skull. These are not units. But when toilets are getting down to this part of the conveyor belt, that's usually when you're going to want to turn off auto skip. Just to give your units a little bit of a breather to catch up on all the murking of toilets they need to do. This will ensure that you make it a lot farther. And just like that, we made it to wave 50 in less than 20 minutes. Actually, wave 51. So if you've been struggling to get to wave 51 on endless mode, well, there's a strategy to beat it very fast. However, we're not just settling on wave 50. Of course we're not, Sammy. That would be silly, Sammy. Fuck. The giant smooth toilet goes down without a fight. Sorry, brother. I thought you were supposed to be strong. Oh, there's that stupid glitch. We killed that stupid glitch. That glitch toilet is the reason why I died yesterday. Thank you so much for murdering that man. He does not deserve to breathe any longer. At that. Four max out, Sinister Boys. Against the world. Ready to fight whatever it takes. See, why can I play Sinister so close to this one, but none of these can be close together? I don't understand. Clearly, I don't understand. See, when this scientist gets this far back here, a lot of people typically get nervous. Not me, though. This is all part of the plan. It's all part of the strategy. Just kidding. I'm extremely nervous. That's a whole lot of boss toilet 4.0s. Dude, just kill them already. Kill the military, man. Come on. This is what I get for keeping auto skip on for too long. <laughs> Whoops. Close one, but we're still hanging on. As you can tell around this point in time, this is when you need to pay the most attention to your track and how far the toilets have made it down your conveyor belt. Because if you keep auto skip on for too long, you're gonna lose. So if you just wanna be safe, you can keep auto skip off if you have a lot of time. But if you're like me, once again, I got that full time skeleton job that I'm gonna need to go take care of. And just like that, we are on wave 60, which actually is surprisingly my best. So clearly this tip video is working or you wouldn't be making it this. So uh, blah, blah, blah. shut up, you super skeleton. Now at this current point in time, we are at maxed out units. However, we have not maxed out our sinister Titan. We also have not, well, two. We haven't maxed out two sinister Titan TV men. But this will be a true test of our units to see if we can take on that frost skeleton toilet. I'm so confident in my team's ability to merc this thing. I'm just gonna skip. Oh, what do you got, frost? toilet what you think you're gonna do something you think you're gonna hurt my sinister boys you birthed these monsters they came from your map frost skeleton how does that make you feel <coughs> sorry my jaw snapped out of place what on earth is that what is this i feel like this shouldn't be a thing why is there a welder inside of a welder inside of a welder inside of a welder inside of a welder hello that that's i i just i don't I, 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 I don't have I don't have words. If I'm gonna lose, this is how I want to go out. What? I don't even know anymore, okay? What is this? The game's broken. It's the scorpion of welders. I did not sign up for this. I signed up for toilet tower defense. I'm here to make funny, cool, handsome skeleton videos for these people. Not die. Oh my gosh, that's so many bosses. For what? For what? It's 1,600 boss toilets. 17,000 boss toilet 2.0. 14,000 boss toilet 3.0. I don't even Okay, well, let's be honest. That's kind of overkill. And we're gonna skip because I want to get to wave 69. <laughs> <clears throat> Either way, I think I've proved more than enough with this build. This build will easily take you to wave 100 if that's where you want to go. It could probably even skyrocket you all the way to the top of the leaderboards to get those free gems. However, my graveyard duties are gone right now, and we have nothing else to prove. So we're turning on auto skip. Let's see how far this puppy can go. If you ever wanted to figure out a way to speed run death, this is how you do it. We got the giant turkey toilet coming too. Man, this map pulls out all the old stops, dude. They don't stop at nothing. Hey, Sinister, wake up, bro. Little bro, you gotta wake up. Dude, do you see how much he's getting stunned? It's like, dude, the Sinister right now, he was acting like when you're in class and you're like about to fall asleep, but you like wake up and then you start falling asleep again. He's like nodding off and on like that. You know what I mean? Like when, when you're watching a movie during class. Dude, who knew the Sinister was so relatable? Not me. As soon as we turn on auto skip, we just started getting swallowed. 
How long can this team hold out for on auto skip though? So far, I'm truly impressed. If you don't, what are all these death skulls? Are my units dead? They got marked with death. Who does that? I don't even, this guy's frozen. That guy is dead and they're all stunned. Okay. Oh, there's that glitch toilet. Okay. Boom. There you go. So we outlasted to wave 76. We easily could have made it to 100, but I got to go to the graveyard, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video or want to see me make a legitimate push to the leaderboards, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below and watch yesterday's video if you haven't already. It is an absolute banger. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know I love you. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.